Let me guess, you've disabled your iPhone and you can't get access to it. Well, I've got four different solutions for you to get back into that phone. Hi there everyone, my name is Bruno and this is Dr. Phone, an app that does everything you ever wanted to on your iPhone in a quick and easy way. Subscribe if you want to check out other tech tutorials and phone reviews. So yeah, I know, the baby locked it, or maybe your friend changed your password as a prank. Or you locked your girlfriend's phone after 10 bad guesses. Doesn't matter, here's what you have to do to get back into that iPhone. I've got four different methods for you to pick from. Method number one, we're going to be using this software called Dr. Phone to unlock your phone. It works as a charm and your phone will be just like new, literally. I have to warn you, all the information on your phone will be gone, but you will have access to your phone and it won't be bricked anymore. First thing, install Dr. Phone on your computer. The link is down in the description box. Once it's loaded up, go here to Screen Unlock and hook your phone up to the computer using the USB cable. On the Screen Unlock window that has just opened, just select Unlock iOS Screen. Now what we have to do is to go into DFU mode, which is a mode that allows the computer to talk to your phone. If you have an iPhone 6S or older model, press Power and Home at the same time until you get the Connect to iTunes screen. If you have the 7, hold the Volume Down button and Power button at the same time until you get that same screen. And if you have the iPhone 8 or newer, you're going to have to press Volume Up quickly, then Volume Down, and then hold the Power button until you get that same image. Dr. Phone is going to automatically detect your phone and tell you the model and iOS version it's running. All you have to do now is hit start and the firmware of your model is going to begin to download. This may take a while depending on your internet connection. Once that's done, press unlock now. A confirmation screen is going to pop up and it's going to ask you to type in six zeros. This is to make sure that you're absolutely positive that you're willing to erase all your data to unlock your phone. Within a few minutes, you'll get the message that your lock screen has been completely removed and your phone is as good as new. Now method number two. This involves using iCloud and Find iPhone. For this to work, you have to have Find My Phone enabled previously and your phone must be able to connect to the internet via Wi-Fi or cell service. Step one, log into your iCloud account on your computer, go to find iPhone, click on the green dot that represents your phone, and then here in the corner, you'll see erase iPhone. Click on that, type in your iTunes password, and follow the instructions on screen. Wipe that whole thing clean and you're back to using your device. I assume that if you had Find My Phone enabled, you were already backing up the information on your phone to the cloud. Now all you have to do is restore your information back to your phone using iCloud and you'll have it just like it was before you disabled it without a password. Now method number three. We're going to be using iTunes or if you're on a Mac you'll just find your device on Finder. Keep in mind, the computer you connect your phone to has to be the same one your phone has previously been synced up to if you want to keep your data. If you have synchronized your data to this computer before, you can actually sync it now once again even if your phone is disabled, just to ensure you have the most recent backup. Now we're going to wipe the phone. Click on Restore. Follow the on-screen instructions and if you just backed up your phone, choose restore from backup. If you didn't, just continue and you'll have a reset phone just like it was when you first bought it. Either way, when this process is done, you'll have a phone without a passcode to access it. Now method number four. This one's a long shot, but maybe you're in luck. If you have an older phone that hasn't been updated and is running iOS 10.3.2 or 10.3.3, there is a loophole that you can exploit to gain access to your phone without doing any sort of restore. So once you're in, update and don't forget your password. Are we clear? Okay, 
So for this to work, you have to be on 10.3.2 or 10.3.3. Siri has to be enabled and you have to be online and maybe Jupiter has to be aligned with Saturn or something. Uh, that last one may be optional. So hold the home button to activate Siri and ask her what time it is. Hey Siri, what time is it? Okay, so next you're gonna click on the clock display and it will take you to world clock. Now we go to alarm on the bottom of the screen and we create a new alarm if you don't have one already or you can edit an existing one. Go to sound and then hit buy more tones and this will take you to the iTunes store. Patched versions won't have this option. Now all you have to do is press the home button and you're back in. Now that we've seen these four methods, leave in the comments which one you prefer and see you next time with other tech related tutorials. See ya!